middle of October My bed is cold at night That's how I know the summer's over Hey everybody, <laughs> it's been a long time, I know, um, I don't know how I became like, just dis I just disappeared, <laughs> it's not funny, but I just disappeared from, uh, from YouTube life and everything, so, I wanted to say, hey friends, <laughs> I hope you guys are doing well, I'm doing okay, uh, so the reason I left, I'm just going to recap you on the last, I want to say, seven months of my life. So my last video, I think, was in August of 2020. And that's because it was haul, but that's because I decided to stop filming hauls for a certain amount of time. So the reason is, is because... I just got so down on myself like oh my god like I'm gaining weight like this is like literally like a whole recap very candid uh, video and by the time you see this it's already gonna be like a few weeks old because I'm not gonna post it I may not post it until we'll get there so I decided that I wanted to stop doing hauls because like I said I started getting really down on myself and I didn't it's because I kept gaining weight it's like yo like you don't realize but 2020 really took a freaking hit like hard hit on the mind body and spirit for a lot of different people so for me it was my mind and body like so I decided to just step away from doing hauls because I felt like I'm like, oh my God, I'm gaining a whole shit ton of weight. And it wasn't, it wasn't for me. So I decided that, you know, November came around. I decided to look into weight loss surgery. So I've been doing, I've been like thinking about this for many years since 2015. I just did not get it. I just didn't get it because I was like, you know what? I'm not that big. I can work my way. At that time, I was like 250. I was like, I'm not that big. I can I can work it on out, blah, blah, blah. But on top of that, I was also hella sick. <laughs> like, I had a lot of gastrointestinal issues that I was working through. Um, and that's kind of what kept my weight, like, you know, 250 to 260, like around there. So, you know, fast forward to... December of I mean November of 2020 I was just like I'm gonna go to my first consultation with uh, a bariatric surgeon so I did I went through the whole process of seeing the doctors like today is March 23rd 2021 so like I said I was going through the whole process and what kept me down was because it's like I was just sitting there like thinking I'm like I have to buy bigger clothes I'm not ready for that <laughs> I literally ended up giving away like all the clothes that I had all my uh even like some of the the new stuff like I gave away like I gave away so much stuff like I donated it all um but like I said I decided to look into weight loss surgery so that's what I did I knock oh, I'm knocking my glasses off the bed so I went to the surgeon, she told me what was what, told me the process, how the process would go, who I had to meet with, and how long the process would possibly be for me. So this was in November. That was my first doctor's visit. That was my first consultation. So December is my second appointment. So she asked me what procedure I thought I was going to get. And I told her I would, you know, get the gastric bypass because the doctors where I only go they only do two types of surgeries they only do the gastric bypass and the gastric sleeve they do not do or VSG or RNY I think they don't do lap band they don't do the dual new switch they don't do any balloons or anything like that so I felt that 
uh, gastric bypass was the best surgery for me. So I didn't get it yet. My surgery is not until April 12th. So currently I'm on my liquid pre-op diet. So I just started it yesterday, which was March 22nd. So it's going okay. Um, my meal plan really consists of <laughs> a protein, a lean protein, like a chicken, turkey, lean beef, beans or something like that, like eggs, something like that. Like I can have that. I can have like three to four ounces of a lean, lean meat and I can have two cups, one to two cups of vegetables. And they give you a list of vegetables that you can have, like non-starchy vegetables. So that's what I did for yesterday and today. So two protein shakes and I can have like a light snack if I'm like dying, I guess, which is like two cheese sticks, two eggs, or like a handful of nuts and some other stuff. But so far I've been okay. So I just really wanted to catch you guys out. This isn't going to be like a super long intro video like or like a deep, deep dive, but it is pretty candid. Uh, I did this. Uh, I'm deciding to go through this process for my health because I don't really have any health issues like other than asthma and a bad back. And like I mentioned, my gastrointestinal issues or my IBS that I had, you know, back then. Uh, it's not it hasn't been bad lately. It hasn't been bad in the last couple of years since I got my gallbladder removed, but I just you know wanted to Tell you guys and let you guys know by the time I upload this video. I probably would have already had my surgery I'm still debating if I Want to upload this Before I get my surgery or like the day of my surgery or like immediately after I'm just not sure so if you see this before April 12th then I uploaded it <laughs> before that date that's the day of my surgery but if you see it after then obviously I waited um but yeah back to how I was feeling uh, I just wanted to get that whole thing out the way how I was feeling like I was like starting to get really down on myself I'm like oh my god I gotta buy bigger clothes <laughs> Like, what the hell is going on? I've never been this weight a day before in my life. The highest in freaking 2020 that I got up to was, I'm going to tell you, was 326. I was like, oh, oh, hold on. I got to hold on for dear life because what the hell? But I got that down within like a, within like, I want to say like a month or so. Like I lost like the six pounds and I've been, I was maintaining for a while. 322. 316 right now I'm 316 um yesterday like I said I weighed in at 316 today I weighed in at 316 this is my second day of pre-op diet so I'm supposed to or liver reduction diet so I'm supposed to you know obviously drop weight with this with this diet that they recommend for you to go in before you have your surgery because they want to make sure your liver is shrunken and detox before you go in for surgery so that it's easier to move out the way because they can't operate if your liver is super fatty so or they won't operate because it's just a higher risk of them damaging your liver puncturing a hole or something like that in it so they want to be they want you to be to have the safest you know surgical plan or whatever the case is so this is what I'm doing. Um, I'm not going to say that it's easy because today it was just like, uh, okay. But it is what it is. I, I pretty much stuck to the plan. I don't know if you guys have questions. I don't know everything. <laughs> I'm still learning as the days go on. But if you guys have questions, you can ask me. I just would really appreciate no bashing at saying, oh, you're taking the easy way out because I'm not. I've been overweight damn near my whole entire fucking life. I've tried diets. I've tried exercise. I've tried X, Y, and Z. The only thing I didn't try was going to the fucking moon and back. Like, I feel like I tried everything and it hasn't worked. I've tried the prescription diet pills. It hasn't worked. One moment. Yeah, so I tried the prescription diet pills. It hadn't worked. So I'm just like, my next step is surgery. Like I, like I said, I didn't have 
many issues other than my asthma and my back and you know that and then like last year when I did my physical this was this was like around in August though because that's when I went and I bought the uh, surgery option up to my doctor I said hey what do you think about you know um, weight loss surgery or bariatric surgery she goes I think you'll be a good candidate for it so yeah we talked about it but like I said I have blood work it was my physical this was my physical I have blood work and it came back that my cholesterol was like a little bit high it's not high to where I need medication but it's high enough to where it's just like something has to change so this is me doing something to change it and like I said I I hope you guys uh, appreciate this video I hope that you guys will support me in it I know that this is not something that you, you would usually see although I do lifestyle videos on on my channel you know or I will more often um, and I just you know I just hope that you guys are down for the ride and I I look forward to your support and if you if this is not something that you want to watch it's fine you can unsubscribe but and I hope you stay because <laughs> I guess it's like I would like the support but you know I just want to let you guys know this and I want to let you know that anything that you do in life or anything that you want to do in life you can accomplish I want you to love yourself definitely always because this is not an easy journey. If you've ever been overweight, you know that this is not easy. Like, if you've ever been morbidly obese, you know that this is not an easy journey. Life is, like, not easy. When So, what I was saying was, I was saying that this is, like, not an easy journey. If you've ever been, like, super overweight, then you would know that nothing is easy about somebody coming in and rearranging your gut because people like to throw around the oh surgery is the easy way out it's not um this is the only body that I have and I'm choosing to love it you know as is but I'm just saying like something needs to change because I can't continue I can't continue like this um you and like like I said if you you feel like there's a whole bunch of stuff that you can accomplish you just have to put your mind to it and if it doesn't work there's other ways that you can accomplish it you know there's nothing wrong with asking for a little bit of help um i just want to say thank you to the people who've been here waiting patiently even to the people who have subscribed over the time that I have not been on YouTube my new followers you haven't gone unseen I see you I see you and I want to say that I love you and I appreciate you and thank you from the bottom of my heart so I just want to say the world is yours and I love you and I will keep you all updated <laughs> definitely i won't disappear because i want to take you guys along this journey i really do um i might do what i eat in a day because i already gave you guys what i eat in a day <laughs> but i might you know go ahead and just fill you in on what i eat in a day sometime this week um i don't know but i love you guys again <laughs> peace out